Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today we're going over the different types of Scotch whiskey. As always, timestamps are in the description box below. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the Aquavitae Barflies and Michael Henry over at Loch Lomond for helping me out with some information for this video. The rules for Scotch whiskey have been in place since 1909. They started because of the coffee still and grain distillation. The pot still had been used before that, but now there was a need for legal definitions. These regulations have adapted over time, with the most recent being the Scotch Whiskey Regulations of 2009. According to the regulations, Scotch Whiskey must be made in Scotland, including mashed, fermented, distilled, and bottled, and it has to be made from water, malted barley, or other whole grains such as wheat, corn, rye, or oats. It can only be made with endogenous enzyme systems, aka the enzymes in the barley. You can't add any enzymes to help aid in the conversion of starch into sugar. And because of this rule, you won't see a scotch that's 100% rye. It always have to have at least a little bit of malted barley in the mash. It has to be fermented using only the addition of yeast. The type of yeast isn't specified, but some distilleries are experimenting with new varieties, like champagne yeast. And it has to be distilled to less than 94.8% alcohol. It has to be matured in Scotland for at least three years in oak casks, not exceeding 700 liters. You can only add water and plain caramel coloring to it, and it has to be a minimum strength of 40% ABV. All right, the first category is single malt Scotch whiskey. This means that it's been made at a single distillery. That's what the single means. A lot of the times people think it means single barrel or single, a single grain, in this case barley, but it doesn't mean that. It just is talking about that it's from a single distillery. Then you have the word malt, which means this is made from 100% malted barley. So no other cereals can be added to this, and it also has to be distilled in pot stills. The other thing is it has to be run through batch distillation and can't be continuous, which basically is just saying you can't run a continuous still that can run for days at a time. You have to run the distillations through batches in pot stills, which drastically reduces the amount of whiskey you can produce. Some examples of single malt would be something like Brucladi the Classic Lotti, or this bottle of Oban 14. All right, then we have single grain Scotch whiskey. Now this does not mean that it's made from a single grain. I know that the name is kind of confusing, but again, it just means it's made from a single distillery. And when they say made at that distillery, they mean it. You can't get wash from another company, distill it at your facility, and then call it a single grain or a single malt. Single grain Scotch has to be made from malted barley but it usually includes other grains, the most common being wheat and corn, but there are some cases of rye and oats being used. So while I was making this video, I contacted the Aquavitae Barflies because I was like, I need help with this single grain thing. I wanna make sure I'm getting everything right. And Michael Henry at Loch Lomond, who is just like one of us, a fellow whiskey enthusiast, uh, he contacted me and gave me a little bit of information about single grain whiskey, which he knows quite a bit about. So. The next little bit here is a quote from him. Let me get my iPad. I didn't want to misquote him, so I'm like, I'm just gonna read straight off the iPad. <laughs> All right, so he says, quote, single grain for blending is usually distilled from 10% high enzyme malted barley, lightly kiln to keep the enzymes active, and 90% wheat or maize distilled in large column stills, with the spirit taken off the still at around 94%, end quote. He gave me tons of information that I've paraphrased for this video, but I just wanted to include that direct quote because I thought it was super cool. So that spirit is actually going to be a really light spirit, but it's perfect for blending. That's usually what grain whiskey is, is made for, is blending. So they want a kind of a lighter character that doesn't have as much flavor. But nowadays, distilleries are making single grain scotch whiskeys with a huge focus on the flavor that they're getting out of the distillate. Distillation of grain whiskey is usually done in a column still, but if it's made from 100% malted barley, it has to be made in a column still. If it's a mash of malted barley and other cereals, however, it can be made in a pot still. A good example of single grain scotch would be Loch Lomond. Their whiskey is made from 100% malted barley, but it's made in a column still, so it can't be called single malt. Some other examples of single grain scotch are the Arbiki Highland Rye, Caninvi, which has a malted rye mash that's made in a pot still, and Inch Darren that have a rye and oat yet to be released. All right, before we get into the next category, I just wanna talk a little bit about why the word blend is so confusing. So every single malt whiskey is a blend or vatting, marrying, whatever you wanna call it, of multiple casks. This, for example, the Bricladi, the Classic Lottie, 
mine in particular, is a blend of 81 different casks. But they're all from that distillery, so this can be called a single malt. When you see the word blend, it means that the whiskey comes from two or more different distilleries. Then you have blended malt whiskey. This is a blend of single malts from two or more distilleries. So it's still 100% malted barley, it's still made from pot stills. The only difference is you have multiple casks from different distilleries to make one whiskey. A good example of this is Johnny Walker Green Label, which is a blend of malt whiskeys from Talisker, Cragmore, Linkwood, and Kalila, or Monkey Shoulder, which is a blend of malt whiskeys from Glenfiddich, Caninvi, and Belvini. Then you have blended grain whiskey. This is a blend of single grain whiskeys from two or more distilleries. A good example of this would be Compass Box Hedonism. Then you have blended scotch whiskey. This is a mix of malt and grain whiskeys from two or more distilleries. So when you see a bottle that doesn't specify if it's grain or malt, it will have both malt and grain spirit in that whiskey. Some good examples of blended scotch whiskey are Johnny Walker Red, Chivas Regal, and Dewar's. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Whiskey Central. I hope that helped you understand the different types of scotch whiskey. Next week, I'll be reviewing Michter's Rye, so if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. This is a blend of single malts. Ah, oh, shit. Or if you guys can hear my air conditioner, it's 8 million degrees outside, so air conditioner. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so hot in here. Fuck. Let me get my thing real quick. Really want to open this oven. Okay. I'm not sweating. You're sweating. The the word malt. The 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 word malt. <laughs> okay. Or hmm. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that. Woo! Minimum strength of AB. <laughs> it has to be a minimum strength of ABV. <laughs> now, okay. I hope that's good. I have a lot to get through. So. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long video. Scotch whiskey, oh, <laughs> whiskey, oh my god, <laughs> I cannot say whiskey. I need a dram is what I need. All right, we got a little Blad Knock 17 to get me through this video. Thank you so much, Nate. Mm. That's good stuff. Oh.